This is the best that Cold War has been doing in years, and I think it just got better. So let's talk about it while we work on our weapon mastery here for the ballistic knife. Now, I'm almost positive if you're watching Cold War videos, you've heard about the whole like hacker issue thing in Cold War and how they've taken steps to fix it. Well, just today at the time I'm recording this, the COD update account replied again to their previous tweets about them putting in security updates with another one. Because they said a new security update has been released for Cold War and they additionally have added in so that every part party privacy is set to friends only. Honestly, I don't know how much that's going to change like anything. Well, the, the full friends only thing, but I guess just to give some people a peace of mind. But honestly, I have not had any issues playing this game in a while. I've been able to stream it without getting booted offline. Like I've had nothing happened to me since like the initial like update and now them adding another one on top of it like if you guys saw today that there was like a i think it was 16 gigs for me it might have been more or less depending on your platform but them adding in another security update i feel like very comfortable playing this game without like running into you know some losers that are gonna boot me offline and on top of that this is all happening during the month where this game is free to play on playstation plus like cold war is eaten right now like modern warfare 2 not doing the greatest you know I, i'm not really the biggest fan of it at the moment i might hop back on there for the the boy stuff because uh, the the temp v field upgrade seems kind of cool but outside of that i feel like a lot of people are flocking to cold war whether it's to play zombies or to actually play some of like the lesser multiplayer modes like fire team like since it has gone free to play now's the time to do anything you need to do in fire team like i was just talking in stream where people were asking like what's the best way to get launchers done and when the game came out i said fire team and now it's probably fire team again. Like the mode is now populated. So if you got launchers to do in multiplayer, now is the time to do them. There hasn't been a better time to do them since the game's launch. And we're at that point of the COD cycle where everyone's like, oh, you know, this game sucks. The, the older games are better. I feel like we kind of skipped over that for Vanguard and we went right back to Cold War, which, you know, I'm completely fine with because I've always been of the opinion that Cold War is the best modern COD game that we've gotten. Like Modern Warfare 2019 was fun, but it was severely lacking in like, you know, the map pool and things to do after you got like the mastery camo. But this has been like the most complete and the most fun COD that we've had in the last few years. I will say that I think the SPMM is kind of crazy for multiplayer still. Like it's like feels the most cranked up. But I still have a lot of fun playing this game regardless of what mode it is. So if you've been kind of like weary to like hop back onto Cold War because you heard about all the hacker situations, I think by now it's like completely safe. I don't know how long it's going to last though because I, I have a feeling that after, you know, the whole free to play month ends that we might not see another security update for this game especially like with the uh, cod you know 2023 coming out like modern warfare 3 they'll probably just shift everything over and maybe start doing like security patches for like modern warfare 2 if that starts becoming an issue but my theory is once this month's over and like treyarch is closer to completing their their game for 2024 they're just going to completely remove, remove support for this but they could prove me wrong and still be putting out security updates like years later like, I'm glad that they're showing this game love because it feels like it's the only really COD game out there that's getting it at the moment in terms of, like, from the, the fan base. So I'm glad that COD actually sees that and, like, you know what? This game had an issue. Let's fix it. And I think they have. But I have not used this ballistic knife, I think, since I got it Dark Aether. This is actually a lot of fun. It has a pretty fast melee, and you just step back and hit him with it. Definitely doesn't have the most ammo, but if I remember correctly, I think you can actually, like, revive your teammates just by shooting them with a ballistic knife. I don't really know how that works, but it's it's kind of a cool way to use the gun. And I kind of want to see if I can use Tombstone and revive myself with it. And I think we've spent enough time in this first room. I almost have like 30k. So let's go ahead and head through our portal. And I would pick up Jug, but Tombstone's right over here and I want to try this out real quick. So let's see if this works. So we'll buy Tombstone real quick. Zombies, go ahead and knock me. Actually, let's let's get the round low just in case that it's not. That way I don't waste my self-revive. I forget about the melee upgrade too that gives you health like when you eliminate a zombie or do damage to a zombie. It makes melees kind of busted in this game. At least if they can swing fast. Okay, I think this is our last zombie. Go ahead and take me out, buddy. Then we can test out this tombstone thing. There you go. Good job. We'll hit our, our tombstone shadow. And can I just revive myself like this? Hold on. I, I might have missed. Oh yeah, I was shooting at the truck. Let's do this. Does that not work? I don't think it does. Lame. We'll, we'll try again when it's pack-a-punched. 
Maybe pack a punch makes a difference. Okay, so I'll just hang on to only tombstone for right now, which is wild. Wild sentence. I don't know who's just using tombstone, but honestly, this is like my least favorite perk in the game. The only time it's ever actually done something for me is when like I'm completely out of self revives and quick revives. Like it's just there as a just in case thing. Now we just need our one last part over here. Where's our friar? I'll be taking that. And let's hurry up and build this before the zombies kill me. Now it's time to see if this can actually work against the abomination. Because this is pretty decent against normal zombies, but it's just because I'm meleeing with it. Like the actual shot with it. I guess I one shots. We'll see if it holds up against the abomination. So I have a feeling I would have used this a lot more if I knew it was stronger. Oh yeah, the, the shot from it does absolutely nothing. What about meleeing with it? I get you good with this? Ooh, sliced him right in the fucking mouth. Eat it, bitch. Was that an insta-kill? That'll help out. Is your other mouth? Oh wait, no, that just straight up killed him. Okay, Ballistic Knife might be nice. I just want to test this out one more time. Let's get this pack a punched after we lift lockdown. Oh, wow, we skipped the whole like button press animation. New speedrunning strat. We got pack one. Let's just fly down here real quick. You want to come knock me, zombie? That way I can test this out. There you go. You almost got it. Maybe like one more. Perfect. All right, let's hit our tombstone shadow. Um, where is the grappling hook to get up there? I still use these in tombstone shadow. I better be able to. Okay. Can I revive myself with this shooting like that? Nope. So you cannot revive yourself with a ballistic knife. That would make tombstone actually useful. That would be so clutch if you could do that. But no, still the most Just useless perk out there. This is like the, the morning after pill of perks. I probably should get some actual perks to help me out here. Because I don't think I needed that many kills with a ballistic knife to get this mastery done. But I want to make sure that I survive to see it happen. And right, I think we're good on our perks. We got quick revive, stamina up, and jug. That seems pretty good for me. Let's go line up for melee weapons. No, and there's our sharpshooter badge. So we already got it done. I'll go until our next exfil then. And actually, while we're here, uh, somebody's been telling me that there's a pretty good grinding spot on this map right by where uh, you do the RCXD like race side Easter egg. Like the one arcade machine you need to use PhD on to activate. And I've been looking for a good grinding spot on this map, so let's go try it out. We already got this thing done. Uh, is the box near here? I don't think it is. Let, let's go grab a weapon at the box and go see if that, that's a good spot. Because I don't think the ballistic knife is a good... Uh, choice a weapon to use to figure out a good grinding spot come on give me something i can use oh the ray gun wow okay this is probably the best thing we could have gotten i have such bad box luck where i never get the ray gun when i actually am like trying to go to high rounds but when i know i'm gonna exfil in just a few rounds because i already got what i came in to do done i'll get the ray gun that's just how it works this game just likes trolling me um do we need do i do self damage with this yeah so let's grab phd uh, a little speed cola action. Oh, I don't even have enough to pack a punch this right now. Yeah, we can come back to it. And I don't remember exactly in here where they said it was a good spot. Oh my god. We we're running into money issues. But I'm sure if we set up there long enough, we can figure it out. We'll see where the zombies are spawning in from. I'm actually kind of pissed off that we got the ray gun. Because I swear, every time I'm actually trying to get it, I'll get like the Sigma 15 times. I I'll move the box 25 times and never even see the ray gun spin by. And now that I'm like, yeah, let's hop in a quick game. Let's talk about some of the new COD stuff happening. You know, the, the, the updates with Cold War. And they're like, oh yeah, here's a ray gun, by the way, for this game that you're not going to be spending a lot of time in. It's fucking wild. But I feel like zombies, do they go in through these windows at all? They definitely go through that door. Oh, this is like mini colonel's office right here. It's got all the, all the tools to be an office. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe since they gave us the ray gun, we'll spend a little more time here. We'll see if this is a decent grinding spot. I got to do my research. Because there's a zombie spawn there. Is there one downstairs? There is. Zombies definitely spawn above us on the roof. I feel like this is probably pretty quick for spawns. And they do climb in through the windows. That's good to know. Actually, a real test to see if this would work good is turn on the rampage inducer. Because right now, these zombies go in this slow. And I have a ray gun like this early in and it's pack-a-punched. Of course, it's going to work. Let's go turn on that rampage inducer. Let's give ourselves a challenge. I'm very ADHD with what I want to do today. If you can't tell. All right, rampage inducer is on. Let's give this spot a whirl. Because there really isn't that many good grinding spots on Forsaken. Honestly, the only one that's decent is the donut shop one. And I feel like after like a few rounds, it kind of falls off. If I can get decently far sitting here. Might be a good spot. Because it does take the zombies a second to even run at you after like vaulting over this. It does suck when you gotta reload, though. I mean, that's what Ring of Fire is for, but I don't want to waste it on the last few zombies of the round. 
Even if they're super sprinters, like that zombie coming up the stairs right there. Still had to take a second to turn the corner. Okay, this isn't bad. Okay, except for when this guy shows up. The only thing that would really make this better is if all the zombies came from one spot, so you didn't have to move around as much, but this is barely even, like, playing. I'm just kind of whipping my mouse back and forth, seeing where they're spawning from. And I just noticed that there's an armor stand right here. I'm so blind. I could have been had tier 3 armor. Okay, we're out of ammo for our ray gun. Can we survive with the ballistic knife right here? So far, so good. I don't even know if Ring of Fire really does anything with this. I guess this is the best melee weapon to use Ring of Fire with. It has so little ammo, there's like no point. Still working though. But our next exfil window is here. Let's just go ahead and take it. That spot's all right. It's decent. I really just wanted to hop on here. You know, get one mastery done. And kind of inform you guys that there was another security update. Oh shit. Can I even get this off? Yeah, I can. But I'm the greatest. And I have 40,000. I'm low on ammo for my ray gun. Might as well pack a punch it. We'll just use this to get out of here. But honestly, I, I'm really happy about like the resurgence Cold War has kind of have. Not like it, it didn't have people playing it already because I feel like it still had like a pretty strong like core base of people that, you know, hung on to the game. But with it going free to play and then it getting safer and safer, well, it, allegedly safer and safer with these updates, uh, it, it's fun to see Cold War start to like gain players again. This got to be like my favorite COD game of all time. And just seeing more people get into it, even for the first time or coming back to it after a few years, just warms my heart. Now, where's the last two zombies at? We don't got time for this. Are you, what are you guys doing? They're both just stuck right here. Why does this happen? Let's get out of here, Raptor 1. We're taking off. And that was just a quick game, but let's go ahead and see our final stats. 88,000 score, 737 eliminations, 128 crits, and the two self-inflicted downs to test a ballistic knife. And just for a little cherry on top, we have our ballistic knife master calling card. But I think I'm going to end it right there. So I appreciate you guys watching and I appreciate all your love and support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.